everyone, it's Diane and this is the angel hug for Friday, Saturday and Sunday, the 7th, 8th and 9th of June. And um, okay, I'm going to pick a card from the daily messages from your angels cards and I love this card. So for Friday, the messages focus on service and connecting with awareness again. I'm just going to say we are all serving in different ways. Don't underestimate the value of what you bring and sometimes service means how you connect with people on a daily basis sometimes it means how you are with the people closest to you and sometimes it means how you teach people you you meet just casually it doesn't always mean that you have a big mission however if it does mean that it's going to be a very very important day for you to start taking that on board i'm feeling quite strongly that there's an energy coming through me right now that is saying wake up to your path now the time is now the time is now so <laughs> and that feels pretty intense the reason i'm feeling that is that things are getting quite intense right now and if you are a light worker if you are someone who comes here at this time to bring a new consciousness to touch people's hearts to help all of us to help the world to ascend into a higher consciousness friday is a day when you need to be looking at yourself with very gentle loving eyes and asking yourself why aren't i doing it how can i start right now it doesn't have to be dependent on anything major happening go out and start now you have access to the whole world through the internet you have access to someone every day unless you never leave the house start now to focus on service so sorry that got quite intense i'm going to read the message on the card and the card says your soul desires only to joyfully serve and to swim in a constant stream of bliss this stream continuously feeds you everything you need so i want to emphasize again that you need to look at yourself very gently and lovingly because it isn't something that's standing behind you saying to you why haven't you done it yet why don't you get on with it it's saying to you you know that you are feeling out of sorts you are feeling not quite right within yourself some people because you're not on that path yet and when you step into that path much more you will begin to feel the joy of it you'll begin to feel the rightness of it you'll begin to feel the celebration of it and we're all about raising consciousness, every single one of us, whether we do that consciously or not, that's what's happening because evolution is inevitable. And the question for you to ask yourself now, light worker, is, is love inevitable? How can I be a part of this wave, this huge movement that is ensuring now that love is inevitable? Okay, that's it. Right, so for Saturday, <gasps> assertiveness this situation can be healed gently and with love as you've requested yet there's also a need for your strength and truthfulness with the other people involved so today saturday is going to be an important day to speak a truth that needs to be spoken to do it gently to do it lovingly and yet nevertheless to say this is who i am this is the path i've chosen or what you've said, what, you, what you've done, the way that you're behaving is not pleasing to me. I love my guide's language. It's not pleasing to me. Or words to that effect, whatever words you would use. Um, yeah. So Saturday is going to be a day. Uh, the card says we will stand right behind you as you speak your truth, giving you strength and guiding your words. So if there is a challenging situation that you know you need to face and that you are dreading facing, and it might not necessarily be a confrontation, being assertive can mean going after something that you know you want to create. It can mean stepping forward, taking one small step on the path. It can mean making a phone call or writing an email or something that will take you a little bit further forward onto the path, especially as we had the card um, for Friday, which was about committing to service. So 
today, a Saturday might be about being assertive, about moving forward. Ask the angels, ask your guides. Just say, just go into that quiet space and just say, okay, I know you're with me. I know that you're here to help me to serve my purpose at this time. I know that your wish is to serve as well. Please help me to have the courage to take these steps. Or please help me to speak lovingly to this person and let them know who I am and what I feel is right in this situation. So Saturday, don't feel that you have to do it alone. That's really the message of this card. I love that because when you look at the word assertiveness, it has all sorts of connotations. And I think a lot of light workers will probably think, oh, you know, assertiveness, I've got to do something a bit scary or, and, um, and I think there are, there are people who are really coming from their hearts who might feel like assertiveness. It's just such a word. There are certain words that I have I don't know, not an issue with, but I don't feel them in my heart as a loving truth. And yet it does explain how it can be a very loving thing to do to speak our truth. Because if we're not speaking our truth, then we are contributing to a lie. We are allowing other people to lie to us as well. And ultimately, that doesn't lead to happiness. So um, just ask your guides to be with you as you speak the loving truth that you need to speak on Saturday. And for Sunday, I'm going to go to the secret language of colour again, because I think it would be nice to end the week on a colourful note. And also, um, just being aware of a colour. So, with awareness as well, I would say awareness applies to everything that we've spoken about so far, but especially to assertiveness. I would say that before you go into a situation where you feel you need to be assertive, connect with your guides and become aware of their presence around you. Don't just ask for help. This is something that I'm always teaching people. Develop awareness. Wait until you feel the shift in energy around you. Wait until you feel a sense of being protected and guided and surrounded and then move forward. Okay, it can change an experience completely. Right. And oh, I've picked two up there interestingly so I'm going to go with those because I don't often do those and do that and they both happen to be quite powerful I would say solar plexus cards so I would say on Sunday focus on going from this expression to this to the higher expression to me this looks like uh, this is this is the solar plexus in action this is the psychic sense moving out into the world wanting to feel safe but also wanting to control things we're connecting with things outside ourselves from the solar plexus to get a psychic sense of everything that's happening this is why often people who have been through traumas develop psychically very quickly because there's a desire within the being to figure out what's coming next whether there's danger somewhere Somewhere. And so from the solar plexus, we send out those energetic feelers to sense what's going on. And it is a good, strong, powerful frequency. The solar plexus is known as the psychic brain. So this is OK. This is a good card. Purify your body, it says. And the way to become more psychic often is to is by certain levels and rites of purity. We all know that, that it raises our frequency, that it allows us to connect more easily with finer dimensions because we become finer and therefore they're not quite so far away from where we are. However, I also feel on Sunday the gold vibration, which for me gold is about wisdom. It's kind of a higher octave of yellow. It's kind of a higher frequency of orange. It's really the transmuting power to change all of that, that need to develop psychically into the desire to become wise. So I would say for Sunday, this is where our awareness can take us. It can take us into wisdom if we allow it to. So, and the card says, attract abundance and the reason that makes sense to me is that when we do step into a space where we are not needing to control everything where we are just stepping into wisdom and trust and allowing ourselves to be guided by a higher aspect a higher force then we do become abundant we become abundantly loving we become abundantly clear and we feel that all our needs are being taken care of and this is really one of the things that we're striving for to transmute the essence the energy the character of each of these energy centers into its highest vibration so for sunday i would look at where can you purify your body in order to reach a higher level of psychic awareness and how can you then transmute 
that psychic awareness, if you already feel quite strong within that, into pure wisdom. Wisdom, faith and trust, my guide is saying. Wisdom, faith and trust. And I think we all wrestle with that sometimes. And Sunday is going to be a great day to connect and ask our guides, how can we stop wrestling with it? So that's it. Have a great weekend, everyone. And I'll be back on Monday. Take care. Bye.